What's up friends? Welcome back to 9 and 3 quarters. I'm Carissa for those of you who are new here and I'm so happy you're all here. Today we have another pick a, pick a deck reading or pick a crystal reading and today's reading it's all about your next game changer relationship and I mean game changer because we're not talking like what's next in love but I mean like the next big one and for some of you, you might already be in this relationship. For some of you, this might be a completely new relationship. For some of you, you might already know this person. And that's for you to decipher. Uh, just to give you a little background on what we are covering in each reading, we're going to do a little energy check on person A and person B so you can see if that pot group is for you and the overall energy of the relationship. And then what is the reason for this relationship, this game changer relationship? And not gonna lie, I'm filming this intro after the fact. So a lot of you, I do pick up on the fact that this is soulmate energy. Now soulmate does not mean it's a life or a relationship. We, a lot of us have more than one soulmate come into our life. And soulmate is not always romantic, but in this case, it definitely is. So keep that in mind. But I'm super duper excited and it was really cool too. You'll see um, it's really cool that every single group had a spirit type thing and just a collective energy come through. So you may be drawn to more than one group. Feel free to listen to more than one. Uh, without further ado though, let's go ahead and pick your group. Group number one, we have the Moonchild tarot deck here with the raw rose quartz. Wow, that's a mouthful. Raw rose quartz. Say that five times really, really fast. And the Moonchild tarot deck. Group number two, you have the Disney Villains tarot deck and the Moonstone, raw Moonstone. Also want to apologize, group number two, we had to redo your reading a little bit, but it is amazing nonetheless. Group number three, you have the Prism Tarot deck and the Raw Labradorites. Prism Tarot deck is amazing also. And group number four, you have the Star Child Tarot deck and this cute little Raw Angel Lights. So as usual, the timestamps will be listed down below in the description box and you can go ahead and click which one you feel drawn to the most. I'm going to give you a second or you can pause the video right now to see which group you feel drawn to the most and go ahead and look for your timestamp in the description box. I will also put one in the comment section as well. And you can go ahead and skip to your reading. I will see you there. Don't forget, if you feel drawn to more than one, you may find more messages. And I hope you enjoy. Bye, see you soon. Hi, group one. If you chose the Rose Quartz and the Moon Child Tarot deck, Welcome to your reading. I'm just going to put your crystal, actually let's put it right here where you can see it. Now we're going to move this guy over here for now out of the way and we're going to go ahead and look at your energies of your person and I'm going to go ahead and do it in the style of person A and person B so that you can discern which one is you and which one is your person. And then we're also going to look at down the middle the energy of your connection as well so starting with person a we have the phoenix honesty i can't always expect the tr truth from others but i can expect it from myself I realize I'm holding it upside down. 78 green. And perception. Mm -hmm. 
In person B, we have the gazelle. Friendship, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Workaholic. And number 35, left out with the wolves. And the energy of the connection, you guys actually got two of these um, archetype cards. Bonus. So um, I was only going to take one, but Spirit said to take both. So we got Spirit, I mean, not Spirit, <laughs> the Siren, number 18. Hello. 66, the Seed. Number 16, Justice. And you are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. So we're gonna start with we're gonna start with person A. Um I might jump back and forth actually. I lied. So signs right off the bat that I see, and again, you don't have to be any of these signs. This is just um take it as confirmation if this is relevant for you. Don't be alarmed if these are not signs in your chart or your person's chart. Um you might not even know this person, like I said in the intro um but again if this helps you for confirmation um great if not no, don't worry about it um but with the gazelle this is a fire card so that would be aries leo sagittarius and then the phoenix is actually a spirit card but the phoenix is significant to scorpio energy so i would say that and definitely yes 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 that's <laughs> Um, I also do see Libra here in the Justice card as well. Um, it doesn't necessarily say that within this particular deck, but that's just what I um, take Libra. I mean, that's just what I, uh, what do you call it? Relate with Justice in general is the Libra card. I mean, is, is Libra. Anyways, words might be hard for your person or you at this time. Communication in general, uh, jumbling up your words. You might get nervous around this person. I got a little nervous just now. Um, however, let's just jump right in. The gazelle person here, person B, um, like I said, is fire energy. This person is somebody who is very graceful and beautiful and very aware. Uh, the person I am speaking about is somebody who has the ability to really just take in everything around them. They are very hypersensitive to, not hypersensitive, but hyper aware and very highly observant of all the things going around them, whether or not they let other people know about it and when you think about how a gazelle moves in nature they're very graceful and beautiful and delicate in the way they move yet very quick and very agile in their movements and i think that's the same way with this person they are very quick and speedy and very diligent very hard working as well which is where this workaholic comes into play. When you think about gazelles, they are always in groups. I'm sure there's a correct terminology for the groups that they work in. Um, I don't want to say it's a troop. And friendships are definitely like, they're somebody who has a lot of friends, yet they are also someone that people don't realize have been through a lot.
yeah, I'm hearing that they are somebody who with this left out with the wolves, they're definitely somebody who has had to fend for themselves for much of their lives. And they might have had a very rough upbringing growing up and had to maybe grow up quick, very quickly and be an adult, so to speak, at a very young age and learn how to take care of themselves at a very young age. I think many people didn't necessarily realize that about them. This is about a lot of um, accomplishments and especially like 35 reduces the condenses to eight. And that's a number a lot about accomplishment and attainment. This is someone who is a leader, especially in the workplace. And they, they definitely take charge in the workplace, that's for sure. And while they are someone who is very gentle and very kind, know that they have been through the running and it's it's something that people really admire about them and how how they're someone who commands the room, yet someone who is so kind to everyone, regardless of if they just started if they're at the bottom of the totem pole or at the very tip top. And that is why they have so many friends because it does status doesn't matter to this person what matters to them is uh they know what it's like to be left out with the wolves and that is why they are so kind they've had to learn how to really blend in and they're this cat here and as you know a cat with dogs that's like their enemy so to speak and this cat had to learn how to be one of the dogs, one of the wolves, and hunt like them, be, you know, one of the pack. And they did it gracefully, successfully, and by working really hard. Uh, going to this phoenix person here, I do want to say too that they've, they kind of had this like, this gazelle person had had this way of like always worrying about who's having to not having to worry about uh people not backstabbing them but like I guess betraying them so to speak but they've never had that issue I guess and I think some sort of recent event or recent whether it was a relationship with someone uh, this could have been with a family member or a loved one someone that they cared deeply for really left them kind of looking over their shoulder and wondering you know can I trust this person and they were kind of worried like it's coming through here that they don't need to worry about another predator coming through I don't know why that came through so strong going to this phoenix person person a this person is definitely going through a deep transformation. Of course, with the Phoenix card, um, that's a heavy energy, not just with the Phoenix, but also with here with this green card and perception and see how there's like this butterfly here and so much green. It's just about growth and um, rising from the ashes, ashes, getting rid of the dead. And when the green comes out here, it's really about growing wild and untamed and letting your true self come out and basically burning off what is not meant for you, what is not really you, what is not serving you. And it's being really honest with yourself, basically. This phoenix person is being really honest with themselves and taking on this new perception of what is them and what is truly in alignment with who they are and what they want and who they want to be seen as and seen as and do with them their lives and embrace this transformation and embrace this it, this new growth and rising up really it's really just a beautiful feeling honestly and it can be very intense so I do see how 
kind of dark this person not dark but how heavy this person's energy might feel at times because it's so intense it's almost like a dark soul dark night of the soul awakening kind of vibe and this might not be for everyone this could just be a deep awakening a deep transformation and the really beautiful thing is that this person is really truly surrendering to the process and going with it i also like how aligned the uh, color spectrum is here with this purple up here you guys also have this uh, sun sunny yellow orange color so i do see that the energy of your overall connection here is a very spiritual one as well as one that contains a lot of passion so i will say that regardless of if you know each other or not um we have yet to see um it's going to be different for everybody like i said this is a timeless reading whether when when you find this um will be at the right time for you and you will have to discern whether or not you know this person or don't know this person yet but you guys are definitely um from what I see here, this is definitely a significant relationship in terms of a romantic relationship and one that is meant to level you up, meant to bring you closer. And I want to say it's like, um, it could be a soulmate of sorts. It could be one that brings you a lot of growth and a lot of abundance with the seed energy here in the middle. And this justice you're not alone isolation isolation physical connection and community you're really coming together to build something and grow something and you're balancing out this connection with not just lust and passion but also with something substantial that is of the mind and soul level this seed talks a lot about um new beginnings and can also be like an uncomfortable energy one it's something that really wants to sprout up and grow and it's like an almost like an impatient energy because you're so eager to sprout up and grow and it's kind of like this pearl that wants to come out and it's like this passionate uh red spark of like passion fire that exists between you and you have this really nice balance that also works out between you where when one of you doesn't work on something the other one will catch the other you kind of have each other's backs which is a really great dynamic it feels like such a nice dynamic and I feel like you guys really will have a good honest communication and friendship with each other as well uh, some of you may even start out as friends in the beginning and again this is a very spiritual connection some of you might already feel this person's presence on a soul level now some of you may not and some of you might even see like hear each other as far as like the siren you might hear each other in a song you might hear each other in your thoughts and in your dreams your higher selves may speak to each other definitely um there's definitely a strong connection here and you are i just want to get into the tarot and figure out like what what is the point of this connection what is the significance of this relationship coming into your life so let's go ahead and get there now okay group one we're shuffling this deck is very difficult to shuffle but it's a beautiful deck one of my favorite decks ever it's probably the oops probably one of my favorite decks in the world because it's just beautiful i don't i didn't want to say anything in the intro to sway anyone from choosing a deck because i say anything but actually um i think every deck that i purchase is 
one that I feel drawn to. So but yeah, this is probably one of the best that I really wanted when I first got into um, learning and reading tarot. So definitely really like this deck. So let's just see what is the significance of this relationship. What is the point of this next relationship for group one? What's going on? What is the next? What is the significance of this next? What is the point of this next significant relationship for group one? What is the point of the next significant relationship for group one? What is the point? What is the reason? Okay, we have the hermit in reverse and the star. Okay, what is the point? What is the reason of the next significant relationship? Oops, that was messy. Five of Cups. Yeah, that's that um, person, what was it, the, was it the gazelle I was talking about? Having that feeling of loss or heartache, I think that's that. Well, let's just see before I start saying things. That's what I feel right now. Oh, justice in the reverse. Okay, what is the what is the reason of the next significant relationship for group one? What is the next what is the reason of the next significant relationship for group one? Three of swords in reverse. I'm gonna take one more. What is the reason of the next significant relationship for group one? What is the reason? What is the reason of the next significant relationship? Temperance. Let's just start here before I clarify. For now we have, we'll see if I need to clarify. Oh, back of the deck is the four of wands. So yeah, I definitely felt that. So. First of all, I felt this energy for sure that you guys were some sort of soulmate of some kind and spirit just confirmed that with the four of wands that this is some sort of soulmate level energy. With the hermit here and the star, I definitely feel like I definitely feel like we were grieving a heartbreak and we almost like we're losing hope in in love period like we were losing hope in the in the fact that and I, I, I almost want to say that you are the gazelle in this situation but I again I don't want to discern that for you I want you to be able to discern that energy uh, the only reason I say that is because it feels like who I it feels like that it feels like you were it feels like you were hurt or betrayed and you went through like a deep heartbreak and this wasn't easy for you to get over and you went through a long period of time being on your own, being alone, and in, in a time in which you weren't sure there was anyone out there for you. You put yourself out there and you kept getting hurt. You did all the things. And for some reason, you just kept attracting somebody who just either broke your heart, cheated on you, took advantage of you, that's what I'm getting with this here and it really just wasn't fair 
and you really just started to ask yourself what is wrong with me and you were losing hope in the situation and something made you see the light again something made you find hope again in the situation and really just see that you can bring a balance back in to your life and that is what i see in this temperance card uh blending someone that is not what you imagined into your life could bring so much harmony and so much love back into your life and it's not what you expected and it's something more beautiful and more flourishing and amazing than you ever imagined and it's really such a beautiful thing that it really just makes me think that you can't you you really just look back and you're like wow i can't even imagine life without this person and how how did we even get to this point where i almost was just going to give up on everything and then boom this person comes into my life at the right time and i wasn't even going to give this person the time of day and yet for some reason they just changed my whole perspective and you really just maybe you're the phoenix because your perception shifted and or perhaps like you found yourself seeing yourself in both energies which would totally make sense because maybe you two are mirroring each other in the sense that you both have been deeply hurt and you both went through a deep transformation as well and you both work really hard because i do get the vibe too that the phoenix went through a lot and has been working a lot and the energy that spirit wanted to show me for the spirit was more about a spiritual and personal growth as opposed to work and uh their personal life versus um more of the spiritual aspect of their personality and or their energy and i think that if you do find yourself mirroring each other, that totally makes sense because the blending of the two can really just, uh, that's what I'm seeing, the blending, the, you guys have this very uh, similar duality in, there's a lot of uh, hints at duality here in the temperance, in the four of wands, and even in justice here as well. The star, we see two pillars and I'm just getting the vibe that you are really on this amazing path to someone who is going to to bring you so much happiness and joy and that is what this card here is showing me that this relationship this next significant relationship in your life if you're not already in it is one that's going to bring you overall amazing happiness because there's no such thing as like a perfect relationship there's always going to be ups and downs in every relationship of course but overall this is one of great happiness great abundance and just fruitfulness that i see here in terms of being able to really see the light in things and in the typical five of cups card in in the traditional tarot you you see somebody looking at the cups that have fallen over and in this card here you're looking at somebody who was looking at the cups that are still there you're not looking at the person the person is not looking at the cups that fell over and there are more cups here that are standing one two three four cups standing up still and one cup that fell over you know and this person is dressed in black and they did fin they are they're done mourning that one and they're looking to the new they're looking up they're looking at the path of the four cups that are still standing and that shows me that you are you chose this deck for a reason and you're looking to the future you are really looking to manifest something abundant and amazing coming into your life and something that will bring you happiness because cups are about emotion and when you're manifesting emotion of course you're gonna manifest something good and 
I mean, I would hope you manifest something positive. And that is just what I'm seeing for you in these cards right now. I don't really need clarifiers for this right now. Maybe I won't even get clarifiers for any unless I feel called to because I'm getting such clear information from these cards. And I just see an amazing relationship springing from this. Uh, you're just so happy. So I do have pre-shuffled oracles here to elaborate on what this uh what the reason is for this significant relationship and we have number 72 broken and hatched yes 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 okay i love it you got the love hadarian energy codependency boundaries yes 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 told you abundance I am limitless. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Absolutely, you can. Definitely will. And I spoke about abundance for sure. Number three, between worlds. Yes. And number 51, milk and honey. You are absolutely meant to meant to achieve amazing things with this person and while on your own independently with this person if that makes sense so you will have a healthy balance a healthy balance of achieving things together as a couple and on your own while being with this person does that make sense you'll have a healthy uh a healthy balance of doing things independently and together independently and together i just did that wrong with my hands and this broken and hatched card really just uh really just what's the word it was in my head and then it disappeared it floated away really just confirms that you were feeling so broken and now this new thing is sprouting out of it do you see how this beautiful thing is coming out of this broken hatched egg so while the egg is broken when you think about it it's not a broken egg it's hatched it hatched open to let something come out of it and that is this new amazing thing and you are fulfilling a destiny basically with this relationship you're building abundance and love and milk and honey is about abundance and manifesting good things whatever you want really when you put your minds together you can achieve a lot of good things and amazing things and 51 reduces condenses to six and that is about home and family and i really do see you building a home and family together uh, if that is something that you want not everybody is going to want that but it's definitely a number of harmony and communication solving problems together whatever problems arise i definitely see you guys overcoming that together and building abundance and this between worlds card is definitely about your transformation together achieving your goals and growing together being creative and like i said building something together uh it also makes me think of your transformation. You guys are both coming out of a transformation. Whether you... Which makes me think you guys both mirror each other. Mirror that phoenix energy and the gazelle energy. I feel like you guys are both hardworking. You guys are both some... You guys have both been through a lot growing up. And at the same time, you guys are both going through this... Have gone through or are going through this deep transformation right now. Which makes sense because we are in peak we are in Scorpio season and um I think as a collective we are going through that but for you it is something that is highlighted in this connection and when you think about this it is really like you rising from the ashes so like the gray is the ashes and you're coming out when you think about that and into this amazing thing and I really do think that this is about like passion and us being feeling really safe and stable. You have a lot of trust here because this red makes me think of the root chakra as well. 
and um, this is not a chakra card by the way but it just gives me that uh, because it's red it makes me think of the root chakra how uh, how much trust you guys are going to have in your relationship because coming out of that energy where you were really hurt in the past both of you have gone through a lot and I think you will bond a lot over it as well and bring you guys together and closer and really forge a bond that can uh, build a strong foundation um, as to knowing what works, knowing what is okay and not okay, and really setting um, boundaries with each other that you guys know and appreciate and respect. And that is really such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, I don't want to go on and on and on because this is amazing and I don't want to butcher the message. But I'm going to go ahead and pull some charms for you. Group one, this is amazing. So we're going to go ahead and pull some charms. I'm really excited to do this on the channel. So what am I doing? I didn't pull any charms. So go ahead and close my eyes and just gravity grab. Okay. By the way, how cute is that? Okay. I'm gonna let's just pull them down here and then I'm gonna push them up one by one. So with this key here, that makes me think you guys are definitely building something that is secure. You're finding security with each other, you're locking things down and feeling safe with one another cherries that makes me think you guys are two cherries that's the two of you together cherries fresh ideas coming together bountiful definitely building something abundant the squirrel you guys are nuts over each other get it nuts over each other um squirrels also make me think of um any obstacles that may come up you guys are going to be just fine. Squirrels definitely are always prepared and can get through a lot of things, any adversities. This angel here, you definitely are loved and protected. Your angels are watching over you. Heart. Oops. Let me flip that over. Yeah, there's just so much love here honestly that's what i get and it's red so that makes me think even more root chakra energy there's an egg here the egg makes me think yellow this is yellow and like an orange color so solar plexus sacral energy definitely have that um strength in you as well as lots of uh sexual energy that might be tmi sorry but the moon as well I love that so when I think of the moon I definitely think that you guys are definitely connected spiritually on, on another level the moon also makes me think of divine timing things like that with the leaf here I think that the times are turning and with the green that card that came out earlier you guys are definitely producing so much growth I don't know why that came out funny, producing so much growth. The butterfly definitely reiterates your transformation right now. You guys are definitely coming out as this beautiful butterfly. Am I even in focus? You have another key, like a royal key. So definitely highlighting again that amazing safety. You guys are definitely building a home together for sure. It makes me think you're building something beautiful in terms of like a beautiful home like a castle i think this is saturn i'm really horrible at my planner and planetary things um but saturn i'm just gonna go ahead and and intuitively uh channel this one i want to say you're just cosmically aligned you know it makes me think that regardless of the choices you make divine timing and divine intervention you're not going to chase away what's meant for you what's meant for you is meant for you and uh, it'll circle back in divine timing honestly what is this one 
oh this is a girl so for some of you maybe this is a childhood friend perhaps this could be like inner child you guys could have a lot of fun together as well that makes me think that you guys are doing things that normally wouldn't this is like making me cringe a little that it's not really focusing sorry okay need to figure out a better system for this but that's what the girl makes me think of you guys I have a lot of charms for you the turtle slow and steady also abundance when I think of the turtle we already did the squirrel wine you guys might be having some fun whining and dining a fine time building that abundance so definitely a luxurious life might be in store for you as well another butterfly highlighting that transformation we have a carrot that also makes me think of abundance four carrots you know what i'm saying see so many butterflies in your charm pool that's Definitely, the transformation is definitely a huge deal. We have this really cute, we have this really cute double dolphins. So you guys are definitely enjoying um, playful times together. You guys have a lot of fun together. Vacationing is definitely a huge deal. You have this Mickey Mouse key here. So I think Disney, maybe you guys like Disney things together, a Disney vacation. We have a fish here as well, so maybe Pisces might be significant for you. Another key. Ooh, we have this blue pumpkin chariot. So Cinderella vibes. That makes me think that maybe you feel like, I don't want to say you feel like you're getting rescued, but I do feel like a rags to riches type of story. You've definitely built something out of nothing. That gives me that feeling you worked really hard to get to where you are yes pegasus slash unicorn with wings magical you are magical definitely a symbol of magic a, a symbol of youth and one of my favorite animals ever we also have a fairy here. So some of you might be connected to the fae. Fairies also make me think of youth. So I think you have a lot of child energy around you. Um, whether it be like guardians, somebody around you um, has that youthful energy as well. The white rabbit here. So time. So maybe this is happening soon, if not now. Something very time Time, time, time makes me, I just keep saying it's time, it's time. Um, the white rabbit also makes me think of, uh, you know, you know. You guys are getting busy. We also have a heart with kind of like a crab looking thing on it. So again, cancer. Oh, not again, but that gives me cancer energy. We have this little lightning bolt. So maybe you guys like Harry Potter, like I do. Or this is just a jolt of inspiration. It hits you really quickly. This um, arrow also makes me think that the passion that ignites between you comes in really quick. And really, you don't know where it's coming from. So I'm going to just put this up here so that you guys can take a closer look at it. um that's what i see for you group one that is where i'm going to leave your reading please smash the like button and comment down below to let me know how this resonated for you if you enjoyed it i would really appreciate it if you shared this and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat i'm also linking my patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our community over there and we'll have some exclusive pick a card readings and i'm not available here on youtube and i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i'll see you all very very soon bye
I group two if you chose the Moonstone and the Disney Villains Tarot deck. Welcome to your reading. I'm gonna go ahead and pop your stone right here. Actually, let's put it here so that you can still see it. And we're also gonna move your deck all right here. Just out of the way. And we're gonna go ahead and do an energy check so that we can see if this pile is really meant for you. So you can go ahead and see if you are person A or person B, I'm gonna keep it in that style so you can discern which one is you and then which one is your person. If you don't recognize your person, it could be that you just haven't met this person yet and they are coming into your life. So <clears throat> without further ado, well, we also have cards to represent the energy of your connection. And then we're gonna pull tarot to see why they are coming, what is the reason um, for this significant relationship and then we have more oracle cards to elaborate on that and then we're going to pull some charms for you so we're going to start with person a we have the unicorn guilt i release i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth Number 24, the gallery of those who came before. And victim, which is the heart chakra. And person B is being represented by the hummingbird. And then we have two of these Soul's Journey cards. You got a bonus. Denial, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Empathy, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Number 51, your light. and mysticism, which is the third eye chakra. Okay, and then representing the energy of your connection, we have number two, the father. Number 45, laughing and crying. Um, star family, you're part of a team of souls call in support. And I'm just gonna move this a little so we can see everything. Okay, cool. Okay, so first off, I want to start off by saying how much mirroring is happening in your next significant relationship and for some of you you're already in this relationship and for some of you this is uh not coming in for a while for some of you you might know this person for some of you like i said you have no idea who this person is because it's far a little while off into the future we don't know so just take this with uh take what you will from this and the the reason i say it mirrors so much is because when we look down this connecting energy here you can see the line and how much it's so similar like the father is split and it's got like this uh, mirrored image here and then we have laughing and crying which is also like if you split the card down the center here it's like uh so it's like the same it's it's opposites is what i mean it's laughing and crying and then we also have these similar like orbs in this card here the orange represented here and it's just very the the energy that is here on both sides is very similar in terms of what each person has been through so starting with the unicorn the unicorn is 
somebody uh Okay, actually, first, we're going to talk about signs. So signs that might be significant. Um, you don't have to have them. And they, if you don't see your signs, don't, don't worry about it. Just take it as confirmation. And if you see them, great. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, but this is an air card right here. So air signs would be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And then the unicorn is actually a spirit card. So there are actually not really any signs there. So, but again, if you don't see any signs here, again, don't worry about it. It's just the energy. It doesn't mean this isn't for you. It's just extra confirmation if you do see it. Now with the unicorn here, the unicorn is someone who is connecting to higher wisdom and the divine. Somebody who is regularly practicing, uh, regular, regular, regularly regularly doing spiritual work i would say these are people who are definitely connected to spirit definitely doing some sort of light work and if not doing some sort of light work definitely practicing it for themselves in a sense that they have a strong connection to their third eye and that is like their intuition uh, psychic abilities some sort of clear cognizance type of gifts here and when you look at this side the hummingbird side you can definitely see how this person also has similar gifts in mysticism as well as empathy because obviously they have some sort of awareness spirituality as well and if we think about if we look at this hummingbird card this card actually does talk about being spiritually aware and maybe not as much as the unicorn but definitely somebody who's curious in learning about it and connected in a spiritual way uh, especially in nature and uh, more so on the unicorn though this person is definitely somebody who has suffered from guilt obviously they feel guilty about their journey coming forward obviously when we take a look at victim they victim in the sense that they've had this victim mentality coming up throughout their journey and their growth journey not just growing up but i would say growing through adulthood even and in their awareness in the sense that they recognize certain behaviors but they don't necessarily take accountability or responsibility for those actions and they when they look back on it in this transformation because they are going through a bit of a transformation a change if you will they're recognizing that they've had this victim mentality and they feel some guilt in that they feel they definitely feel guilt in that situation in this part of their growth and they know that they could have probably released a lot more instead of putting blame on other people the gallery of those who came before definitely is more so about comparing their comparing their journey to other people comparing uh, why am i not as good as so and so i'm doing the same thing and it's while it's good to look to other people that you admire for inspiration we don't necessarily want to be a carbon copy of said person, right? We want to be unicorns. We want to, as a unicorn, we we need to recognize that, you know, this unicorn person needs to recognize that they are unique in their own sense and they really need to step into their own power and realize that unicorns are very special and very unique and they have their own identity their own magic about them that they need to share with the world and that the world really needs to see and so in in stepping into that and in recognizing that they have that ability to do so and stop putting blame and being a victim to this mentality they 
can release this guilt and truly ascend and move forward in their growth and step into abundance and when we look at the hummingbird in terms of their energy it's also pretty similar the hummingbird is a little bit more positive in the sense that they have a more sunny disposition and you can see that in the sense that they have this bright light around them whereas the unicorn is in the dark right they're in the dark and they're comfortable there and that's totally fine they live by the moon their intuition they're driven by the moon and that intuition and they're comfortable there now with the hummingbird though while they're driven to learn about this spirituality and the their intuition and all that things all those things what they don't realize is that they're in denial of certain gifts that they have they don't realize that they have this special light about them their light around them is what makes them really shine and they're in denial about these gifts that they are intuitive they have these abilities that they can use and share with the world and really use it to help other people heal help other people really just shine shed light on other people's shadows come out of a dark place is what i'm hearing and for some of these hummingbirds they might find that they're empathic and that's pretty clear with this card here confirming i'm open to seeing both sides of a situation but they're really in denial that this is a unique ability of theirs they think that they just brush it off as like oh they it's just like you know a, a lucky thing and they don't realize that really this gift is like a mystic a mystic ability of, about them and they need to realize that they have a special light that they need to really embrace and only their light can really be shared with the world and that's why it's so similar with the unicorn in the sense that they are both unique and they both have uniqueness unique qualities about them that only they can bring to the table which is why i think they mirror each other another thing i want to point out is that both of these cards condense to sixes 24 condenses to six and 51 condenses to six and both are about um, cooperation adjusting taking responsibility and even building like can talk about building a family together so when i think about that in terms of your relationship and the significance of your relationship i think that i mean when we get to it in the next part of your reading it's definitely something that could be a part of it and you know with laughing and crying i think that by coming together you're really going to see that you're really going to see that by connecting with each other and bonding with each other over these pains and over these uh, shadows, shadow aspects of yourselves, you're really going to help each other through this and grow through it together. You're really going to help each other pull through and grow through it by showing each other what uniqueness, what what each other brings to the table in terms of strengths and weaknesses and really be able to help bring each other up and sh shed light on the parts of each other that are maybe hidden in the shadows and that need to be brought up to the light is what i'm hearing so with the father the father is very masculine energy and that's like a really weird way to describe the energy of a relationship but when we think about so when this card is described it's described as the archetype of a father is somebody who really will the father is somebody who is actually someone who is a guardian and will also leave you to fend for yourself and it's like they want you they want to protect you while at the same time they want you to toughen up and really 
build up that strength, that tough exterior so that you can stand on your own. And so there's like a fine line here that the father has to walk and balance. And of course, no one is perfect and can balance this line. It's a fine line to toe. Uh, which is why I think your relationship energy is coming through that way. Is like there's going to be a, there's a fine line here of nurture and pushing each other to really grow and be your best, grow and push each other to be better, do better in the sense of coming out of your, getting out of your own way, getting out of your own way and getting out of your own head and stop throwing yourself a pity party in the sense that you want to release this guilt and you want to stop being in denial. You guys are going to help each other do that. And there's going to be a lot of laughing and a lot of crying both good and bad like sad crying in terms of healing and laughing in terms of happiness uh and ultimately i think you both are here on a star family level maybe you might find that you you might find that you connect on a star seed energy level uh this is of course a star seed deck so there is a lot of energy from that particular lineage but you might want to dive deeper and see exactly which line you connect with whether it's minnetaka or um lemurian that sort of thing um it does it'll probably help you connect and realize uh, why you feel the way you do and help you f find more connection i'm still a noob when it comes to star seeds and it's definitely something I want to dive deeper into. I do connect um, on many levels with starseed energy though. So I do appreciate the starseed. We're going to go ahead though and shuffle some tarot cards to take a look at what the reason is for this relationship, this next significant relationship coming into your life or maybe you're already in it. And then we're going to go ahead. I have more i do have more oracle cards somewhere for you that also uh embellish not embellish elaborate on why what the reason is what was the reason that's what i'm hearing for this relationship so okay. have your oracle cards here and then i'm just going to shuffle these for you and then we can pull charms after too <clears throat> group one i pulled away too many charms so we need to be careful because my charms are teeny tiny, but we are going to pull them in less. So, group two, spirit, what is the reason for this next significant relationship? What is the reason of this next significant relationship? What is the reason for this next significant relationship for group two? What is the reason, spirit? Okay, we have ooh, we have the nine of cups like that. What is the reason of this next significant relationship for group two, spirit? What is the reason of the next significant relationship? We have the star. Wow. Group two. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, group two. What is the next, what is the reason of the next significant relationship for group two? What is the reason of the next significant relationship? Oh, what is the reason of the next significant relationship? Okay, we have the two of wands. 
Is this a reason for the next significant relationship? Group two spirit. What is the reason for the next significant relationship? Why is this relationship happening? What is the reason? What is the reason of this next significant relationship for group two? What is the reason? What is the reason of this next well, significant relationship for group two? Ten of Wands. Just gonna move this. I'm gonna take one more and then the bottom. What is the reason of the next significant? relationship for group two what is the reason the next significant relationship for group two what is the reason spirit well what is the reason whoa okay i'm just gonna take this one um your back of the deck is the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and look. Actually, let's look at this. No, nope, we're gonna look at this. We have by the book number 11. Yeah, number two, Yin. Well, that's pretty cool because you had two, which was father, and that was masculine energy. This is feminine energy. Number 21, clean it up. You guys had a bonus, by the way. Well, I only wanted one of those. Uh, let's do these two first. Okay, I'm going to butcher this. Hera, Hera, S. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. And then we have your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. So let's go here. And then we have afraid of the attic and freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay, let me just make sure you can see. Yep, okay. Group two, this is amazing. Hey group two, sorry, things look a little bit different because I messed up a little bit in your reading. I called this card right here, the nine of cups. This is actually the nine of cups. I don't know why um, I kept calling it the Nine of Cups, it's the Four of Cups, but actually I do know why I called it the Nine of Cups and it's because it's interpreted as a manifestation coming through in your reading. So with that being said, let me just explain further here. I brought this out because I wanted to kind of explain to you why I felt it was a Nine of Cups because Normally in the Four of Cups, we typically interpret that card as apathy, boredom, not really being happy with what's going on, like a missed opportunity sometimes. And in this case, it's more of we are sitting here and kind of dreaming up something coming through. Like if we look at Captain Hook here, he's actually very happy he's very smug and excited he's he's really like dreaming something up here if i'm thinking of it and and he doesn't look bored at all he actually looks like quite excited about what's to come quite confident about his manifestation coming through and granted captain hook is a confident person in general and while this is a Disney deck, I do take that into consideration. And what I'm getting here with this Four of Cups in combination with everything that's come out after it, it's definitely feeling like we're manifesting this 
person, this significant relationship, this game-changing relationship into our lives here because ultimately I think that all of these, whether, you know, I think our intro is going to be a little different. These game-changer relationships are all somewhat of a soulmate level relationship because whether or not we stay with this, this person for the rest of our lives, um, soulmates are not necessarily our forever partner. Sometimes soulmates are brought into our lives to teach us something, to put us on a path, and we have multiple soulmates. Um, and we're not always with one soulmate forever. We're not always with one soulmate forever. So a lot of us are not even romantically involved with soulmates. Sometimes soulmates are soul family, soul friends. And in this case, I do believe that this is more of a, this is of course a romantic partner. And this person is someone that we have been dreaming up. Um, somebody who we have been whether or not on a 3D level or consciously trying to manifest this person into our life, we on some level have been manifesting this person to come in and kind of balance us out. And when I say balance us out, I mean we had the father come up in the beginning part of our reading and here we have this yin energy coming in. And yin is total opposite. Yin is divine feminine energy. And this yin energy is all about surrendering and letting go of control, letting someone else take the reins. And that is where the balance comes into play here. Uh, with by the book, it's sort of like the opposite, right? That's where the, that's where the balance comes into play. By the book is talking about doing things in a certain certain way, going in um, a certain step of things. And we clean it up here and afraid of the attic. We have talked about being afraid of our shadow aspects, maybe some negative self-talk here happening and hiding away our fears and our anxieties. Um, having this five of swords here, we're kind of bullying ourselves and putting ourselves down. This clean it up and afraid of the attic talks about us coming into union with this person and having the relationship with this person because we're teaching each other how to confront these fears and anxieties and really clean up that aspect of our lives and helping each other confront those shadows, helping each other kind of come to terms with that and stop that shit, you know, like clean that up and clean out that attic, clean out the stuff that we've been holding on to, living rent free in our minds. And afraid of the attic is all of that, all of those things and fears and anxieties and negative self-talk and doubt that we've been hiding away, boxed up in our minds and allowing to live there in our heads and hearts for so long, way too long. And it's time that we clean it up together. And I have no doubt that this person is somebody who is here to help you really elevate and help you open up your heart, help you start this new, fresh, emotional start of things, not just with this person, but with other people, opening up your heart to new relationships, new friendships, and release these burdens. You know, you're starting to see the future again because when you do come into person, at come into person, come into union with this person, you're, you're setting yourself free. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You're seeking this person out. You're not seeking them out, but you're manifesting this person into your life because <clears throat> you're going to finally see that you have the power all along. This mirror card, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the baddest bitch of all? It's you. It's you. And this person is here to finally help you realize that you don't need to seek outside validation from other people. You don't need to seek outside love from other per other people because you can give that to yourself. And when you can finally realize and see that you don't need other people to give that to you, you can give that to yourself. You'll have so much more to give to other people. And 
that's exactly what this person is here to give um to help you realize and help you see and your life is a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability this person is here to help you really create the life of your dreams to help you realize that happiness is within you happiness is really something that you hold the power to and the keys to um, really empowering you to take control and align yourself with what you came here to do because whether you believe it or not you are longing for home you're homesick for the stars and you've been feeling this kind of sense of maybe you haven't been feeling like you've been on track you've been feeling a little bit lost in sense lost you've been feeling a little bit of a feeling of like purposelessness sometimes where you kind of feel like you're going through the motions and you're not really fulfilled and it's because you're you're looking outside for these and it's because you're looking outside for these feelings you're looking outside of yourself for these feelings of happiness and for someone else to give that to you when really you need to find it within yourself and when you really align yourself with your purpose your passion and what really calls to you you will find home within you and that's where it's really going to click if that makes sense and i know that sounds easier said than done and you're like carissa what the hell like i don't even know what what my passion truly is i don't know what i want to do and that's kind of what this person is here to tell you they're, they're here to give you this hope again they're here to get your 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 wheels turning this you felt like so stuck lately and so like like stagnant in your energy but this person is coming here to kind of get things going again and for some of you like i said you don't know this person for some of you you're in this relationship already some of you you're going to you might already know this person and it's just a matter of time coming together and making this happen and you will and you will eventually get to this point in your relationship where things are going to line up and it's just about trusting the timing and going by the book in really surrendering and confronting your shadows and being okay with the light and the dark of you you know everybody has shadow everybody does and it's about loving all of you and accepting all of you and being okay with it there's nothing wrong with it and it's just knowing that while we do have parts of ourselves that we don't like we need to realize and understand we we address it we acknowledge it and we work on it you know what i'm saying i, I say that a lot don't i and with this five of swords here you have to stop beating yourself up about it that's where kind of where it starts and then that's when we'll truly achieve this freedom so we're gonna snap back into your reading where i pull your charms and get a little more information for you i hope this made sense i hope you really liked it i apologize for the miscommunication with the four of cups and the nine of cups but like i said this person is definitely someone you've been manifesting whether or not you really realize it on a 3d level or a spiritual level subconsciously and consciously this is someone you've been manifesting and if this is someone you're already in a relationship with know that what i'm getting is like you need to water the grass that's kind of what i'm hearing from spirit if you feel like things are not going the way it is but you feel like i described the person that you're with i'm hearing like we kind of have to water our grass so appreciate this person because they're going through it too we had some mirroring energy in the beginning and you're both here to bring out the best in each other so that is what i see for you group two let's go ahead and pull your charms now get to your charms we're going to get some charms out in your box so i'm going to draw some charms here let's just go ahead and close my eyes and pick some there we go and let me just get closer so that you can see okay first we have the fox and the fox makes me think you're cunning you're quick 
you're quick witted and you're sly you're quick on your feet <laughs> i also thought like what does the fox say so maybe you guys have a lot of fun um being silly together maybe you have a lot of fun being really silly together let me get this charm right here what is this some of these charms I'm seeing for the first time, by the way. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, I'm actually not really sure what this is, but to me it looks like a sled. So winter time might be significant, and winter time at the time of this is uploading. Um, winter time is coming up. It's gonna. It's November right now, but this is a timeless reading. So if you're not watching this and it's not close to winter time for you or i think in different hemispheres winter time is different seasons as well but snow might be significant for you or ice skating that sort of thing you might enjoy that together or meet there we have the moon and star so that makes me think cancer might be maybe their cancer or your cancer the sun here or you're intuitive for sure. The sun here, Leo energy for sure. You're gonna be ma making each other very happy and creating happiness within yourselves. The fish, Pisces, again, you or them, doesn't have to be, or you like phone fishing. <laughs> we have, I think this is a lipstick. Is it a lipstick? It's a very long lipstick or something yeah i think it's a lipstick so somebody really likes pink lipstick or i think like kissy lips so you might like when you the first time you kiss i think you might leave some lipstick print on him or he might she might leave lipstick on you or they sorry whichever you identify as if not then i'm getting that beauty has you know you think you think this person is very beautiful or they think you're very beautiful and then the balloons here i think it's going to be a joyous time you're going to be doing a lot of celebrating together this lollipop here makes me think they're so sweet on you i think you are the sweetest thing made made for an angel they think you are seriously the best thing that they could have been given you are seriously a blessing in their life then we have a crab more cancer energy here focus come on Then we have, what does this say? A star that says just for you if it focuses. Oh, there we go. That's better, right? The star says just for you if the camera focuses. And they only have eyes for you. They're extremely loyal. Um, we have this music. I'm not sure. <laughs> Is this a... Uh, Clef. Anyways, sorry, I am not musically gifted, if you couldn't tell. But you might hear messages in music and songs from them as well. And this smiley face, you definitely always put a smile on their face when they think of you. Their higher self is always thinking of you. I'm going to zoom here so that you can pause the video if you want to take a picture or screenshot. And that is what I see for you, group two. And um, that's where I'm gonna leave your reading group two. Please go ahead and smash the like button and comment down below to let me know how this resonated for you. And if you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you shared this with your friends and your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so that you don't miss a beat.
I'm also going to list my Patreon down below just in case you're interested in joining our community over there. Um, I'm going to have some exclusive pick a card readings there as well. Um, hopefully try to go live, do some live readings. I would really love to get closer and get to know all of you um, there as well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for letting me read for you. I really appreciate all of your feedback and your comments and your messages. I really, really do. Um, and again, thank you. I hope you really enjoyed today and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Hi, group three. If you chose the Labradorite Crystal on the Prism Tarot, welcome to your reading. I'm going to pop your crystal right over here. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to move your cards off to side for now and then go ahead and get started first with the energy of you and your person and I'm gonna do it in the style of person A and person B so that you can kind of decipher which one is you and which one is your person and if you missed the intro uh, you may not know who this person is just yet because this is going to be the next significant relationship the next game changer relationship coming into your life and for those of you who do know this person you'll be able to differentiate who is you and who is them uh, for some of you you may already be in this relationship right now you may be currently in this relationship is what i should say um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and just get started sorry i have a little bit of ash there for my cleansed your area and we're just gonna start with person a we have the dragon ironically we've had a spirit card come out for every pile so far so that's pretty interesting we have pride i love myself and i see myself in everyone person a on this pile got a lot of bonus cards humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life hi sky number 72 broken and hatched yeah let's put you there and number 22 service yeah, let's put you there and bittersweet which is the yeah bittersweet i'll get into that and then here we have camel for person b we have acceptance i am learning to accept the things i cannot change Number 17, make believe. And facade. And then for the energy of your relationship, we have number four, the eternal child. We have number 29, stay back. And messenger, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Oh, sorry. Focus. Okay, I'm gonna put that. Let's move it up a little. Okay. There we go. You can kind of see everything. I think. Yeah, looks good. Okay. So starting off with, let's start off with the dragon because they have the most to kind of talk about here. The dragon, um, actually let's address the signs I'm, I'm picking up on. And now if you don't hear your sign called out, don't worry about it. This is just um, like bonus if there's confirmation and if you if, if, take it if it's relevant. And again, if you don't hear your sign, it doesn't mean any, like it doesn't mean it's not for you or whatever. This is just extra confirmation. Um, this is just energy. So the camel is actually fire. So that would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
the dragon is actually a spirit card so it doesn't really carry uh zodiac signs with it however um when i see the snake it does like here we have the snake in the middle um that makes me think of scorpio for some reason uh so that might resonate for some of you again just take what resonates um, if you don't hear your sign don't worry about it we're just focusing more on the energy okay so the dragon person here this person is definitely somebody who is really connected to their awakening in a sense so they are really seeing who their true self is right now they are somebody who is learning to really connect with their third eye up here like this I know this is just the symbol for the spirit, but it's really, this dragon card really talks about connecting with your third eye and um, connecting with your intuition, kind of coming into like some psychic abilities for some of you, and even just really awakening. So like, even when I think about the dragon, I think of like the Hobbit, if you ever saw the Hobbit movie, um, where that dragon, like he's been in a deep sleep and then when they go and disturb him, um, he's kind of like, like he wakes up when he's been disturbed and he like, now he, now he's like, whoa, like he can, you know, he's been, that's not the right word, awoken. <laughs> that's not a word. He's been like, he's, he's now awakened to a whole bunch of things that have taken place and so that's kind of this dragon person who has now been like broken and hatched and come into this new light like an, an ascension of sorts and they're kind of learning and discovering more about themselves and really accepting this part which is kind of cool because we have acceptance on this side actually but acceptance in the sense that they're not learning acceptance but they've always had acceptance as a part of them so it's not really something they're learning in terms of accepting who they are i'm hearing like they they've always been pretty comfortable in um, who they are so it's not like they've always taken pride in who they are i love myself and i see myself in everyone that's what i'm seeing here so it's not something that they're really learning but it's just a new discovery a like a self-discovery that they're going through right now and so so when we really look at this three cards together here we are kind of honoring a bunch of things that have happened pretty recently and it could be that we're in Scorpio season and this has happened recently and it could be that they're going through a dark night of the soul this might be a combination of the two and this could be you know one or the other depending um, on who this person is it's gonna it, it might be different for for everyone depending on uh, who's watching this as this is a general reading so just take what resonates and now what I'm seeing here is that with the broken and hatched, it's like we we have gone through an experience that has really kind of shattered our world and kind of like a tower moment in tarot where we've kind of gone through a major shift and almost like turmoil I want to say where it's it's really shaken us and kind of crashed our, our egg, it, it cracked our egg open and rather than seeing it as oh shit our egg is is gone um it's kind of this bittersweet moment of recognizing that actually our egg is hatched and not just broken it's it's hatching and we are we are having life come out of it a new beginning come out of this being hatched from it rather than broken and we are appreciating this disastrous event looking back it was a horrible and tragic thing that we had to kind of go through and it was traumatic for us at the time for sure and even going through it and healing from it now it is still definitely traumatic for a lot of you if not all of you and we're definitely looking at it as a moment where it it was bittersweet because it's something that has helped us grow and elevate and ascend to the next level and 
we're actually finding humor in in our pain, which is kind of funny. Uh, well, not kind of funny, but I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And in this in this awakening time, in this time of you know darkness, we're really just shedding light. We're doing all of the shadow work and doing so much work on ourselves that we're doing this um, service where this card actually talks about you know being so focused on filling our own cups and fulfilling our own selves with love that we don't need to seek it from other people. We are so comfortable with you know loving on ourselves we don't need to find it from someone else. We are constantly filling our own cup that we have an overabundance we are overflowing with love that we can freely give it as a service like freely give it to other people without any expectation of it coming back because we are so happy and fulfilled with the love that we give ourselves and that's just this beautiful energy that this dragon person is kind of going through right now and really just going through this ascension and this shadow work and this transformation you might find messages in another pile even uh because it's a very like a heavy transformative energy and it's again it's bittersweet because while it was a painful process for them to go through it was also something that they know they had to go through because they know it was for the greater good and it was something that they had to do in order to better themselves in order to reach a higher level of who they are and to reach the purpose that they are meant to they are meant to be and go to where they need to go uh even with this blue card here it's about you know trusting and being aware of what's happening here and really just connecting with that that third eye um actually think this this is the throat chakra card yeah so despite this being a throat chakra card i am like picking up heavily on just trusting that because it is a blue blue is also indigo uh there is like this indigo color in this card it's connected to that trusting that um trusting that third eye awareness thing uh, while this is about a communication and expression and inspiration and love um, for the throat chakra so it's all about like connecting and it's ironic that you have like a spectrum of colors in your chakras so it's it's a I think it's really cool how the dragon person is just really coming into alignment and divinity in terms of like Rep having a representation of each color in the chakra spectrum like from red orange yellow and green light blue and indigo and purple i think we have purple in here yep so definitely love that for the dragon person um and if you're the dragon person i'm just commending you for your how you come out on top through all of this um, because from whatever you've gone through this has been just a tremendous transformation and healing on your part now if you're the camel person i'm not saying you haven't gone through anything definitely you've been you've been through a lot as well the camel person is somebody who is definitely very comfortable with who they are somebody who is very independent knows knows who they are and they're very resourceful and so what's really cool about this camel person is that anytime a challenge arises they can really step up to the plate and overcome this challenge when you think about a camel they're in the desert and they always have they're always prepared with water they have a way of really balancing things out by being in this hot dry arid climate and yet they're always cool calm and 
hydrated. So they, they have a way of bringing so much balance into, you know, people's lives. And they're, they're someone who loves to travel. Um, camels are, you know, they bring people places. So this person is definitely someone who loves to travel, if not always someone who aspires to travel. Another thing I want to know about this camel person is that while they are somebody who is very strong, very reliant, very independent and knows who they are, it, they are also somebody who because they have had to be this strong person, because they've had to kind of have their own back most of the time when you think about you know, being self-reliant, you really just, this camel person has definitely been forced to step up to the plate in ways that maybe other people wouldn't necessarily have had to at an early age. So when you look at this facade card, actually the story behind this card talks a lot about somebody who had to grow up and and take over this uh a father of the house role at an early age and they've been robbed of their childhood and so which is cool because there's this in eternal child card and we'll get to that how it relates um so the camel here was really unable to be who they really wanted to at certain times even though they have always been comfortable with who they are and known who they are they've always had to also put up a front at the same time if that makes sense they've had to because they've had to step up on to the plate and be so resourceful and so independent and so so reliable for other people and show up for other people sometimes they couldn't do things that they really wanted to do and they've accepted you know, they're learning this acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change, which is their past. And so this is somebody who often fantasizes in this make-believe here, fantasizes about the things that they wish they could have done, the things that maybe they were not able to do when they were younger and go back to doing these things. And sometimes they want to be able to take off the mask and when i say mask i don't mean that they're being fake in the sense that they are showing up as someone they are not i mean the mask of being the responsible person being the one who always has to you know show up as the responsible um leader and um, the one who never takes a day off, the one who never cuts corners, the one who never slacks, that sort of thing. And, you know, sometimes they want to just take a day for themselves and just do something irresponsible, something, something that they really want to enjoy and almost like a vacation from their hectic and crazy lives that require them to show up as this go 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 energy and so that is the energy that i'm getting from this camel person um accepting that they can't change it but also they want to you know a part of them right now really wants to change that about it now like there's something they can do right now in this point at this point in time where they can make the change because 17 condenses to eight and that is the number of change, taking action, taking authority in your life, putting a plan into motion so that before it's too late, before we get to, you know, that point in life where you aren't able to do certain things. Um, I think this camel person is starting to realize like life is short and at a certain point, they won't be able to do certain things that they really want to do, like, you know, maybe go on a Disney vacation and ride a roller coaster. Um maybe uh you know go be a kid enjoy child like 
things. I'm getting like a high vibe child uh, experience and they want to just truly have fun. And going into the energy of your relationship here, the eternal child just really highlights that I think the overall energy of your relationship is going to be about bringing forth joy, bringing forth that inner child out of each other and bringing out this uh, fearless energy. And it makes me think of the sun in tarot right there where we talk about youth and vibrancy and uh, joy. <clears throat> I'm missing the word here. There is a word that's coming to mind, but I can't think of it. It'll come to me later. But basically, you want to just have these times where you truly enjoy yourselves. You just forget about the rules and responsibilities. You just play. And at the same time, with this, it's kind of like contradicting that energy where you want to have boundaries in place um, because there needs to be some balance here. The stay back card is all about setting rules and boundaries and respecting those boundaries because I think when it comes to what happened in each other's past, we didn't do that before and that is why we got to where we got to. And so there's like a healthy balance that needs to be happening within the connection here. And I think that, I mean, that is the energy that I'm getting here because at first when I pulled these I was like mm, that's really weird that's contradicting but when you think about it you're kind of blending it so it makes sense for it to be here when you mix the two because there needs to be a healthy balance of fun and letting go kicking back with setting boundaries healthy boundaries at the same time at that you know if there's too many boundaries sometimes that can be really diminishing and yeah, with this messenger card, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. What did I say? Um, this definitely makes me think of the temperance card in tarot. So I definitely think you're, that is what the connection, that is what the energy of your connection is going to be about. Bringing balance and harmony, having fun. This, again, this light here makes me think of like the sun energy, that fun and youthful high vibe energy where we're just really just enjoying each other and I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun together and you're gonna this dragon person is going to really make the camel person laugh a lot and just you know really just having a good time uh I really don't feel like any kind of stress coming out of here uh, i do want to take a look a deeper look with tarot on what is the reason of the significant relationship this game changer relationship although this energy here is coming through so strong i have no doubt we'll confirm it here with the tarot so let's go ahead okay these are a little bit different so one second Okay, group three. Okay, what is the reason for this game changer relationship? Coming in, what is their reason? What is the reason? This is the next relationship. What is the reason of group three's next significant relationship? What is the reason of group three's next significant relationship spirit? What is the reason? Whoa. We have the ten of raindrops. Something else sideways, so actually we'll just leave it there. Is the reason group three's next significant relationship? 
Well, there's the Ace of Clouds, new ideas in reverse. What is the reason? The Eight of Raindrops, emotional stability. I'm sorry, Nine of Raindrops, emotional stability. What is the reason of Group 3's next? We have the Star, Rejuvenation. What is the reason for group three's next significant relationship? The seven of gems achievement. We're going to take one more. What is the reason of group three's next significant relationship? Right? What is their reason? What is their reason? We also have the Six of Gems, Generosity. Yes. And on your back of the deck here is the, wow, Nine of Gems, Abundance. I love that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me get your, actually, I was going to lay out your Oracle cards first. Actually, yes, I'll lay out your Oracle cards. First, we have number 70, Spirits to Guide You. And then we have number 29, Breathe. Number 28, Building Blocks. And yes, I did shuffle. Very good. They came out separately, two completely separate times. No, uh, indecision, I use my intuition in all aspects of life and trust the timing trust the wave you came in on time is not running out so breathe definitely breathe okay so group three this looks really great first of all this 10 of raindrops in reverse this fulfillment in reverse it's coming out because you're at a time where you this is coming in at a time where you feel like you are not going to be getting your happy family. You feel like you feel like you're losing hope in really getting this this happy life, this um it's like every day it will rain. That's kind of what I'm hearing in my head. You, you're you going through this period of every day it will rain and you feel like it'll you'll never see the sun come up again and you're kind of losing hope in the idea you're you're losing hope in the idea that anything will come from this. You're on this downward spiral here of things coming through your you're not seeing the light in the situation with this ace of clouds in reverse and you don't really think anything's going to come through and then when you least expect it this you know as you wish for it this wish fulfillment is going to come through this nine of raindrops emotional stability will definitely be a part of this particular tarot deck is very different from a traditional tarot deck if you can't tell it has special keywords on it uh, even the different depictions of the suits are quite different so the the way that i interpret certain things might come through a little differently especially with the keywords now emotional stability nine of cups this is nine of raindrops here really is in traditional tarot talks about a wish fulfillment you're coming through you're being very content it depicts a man who sits here on his throne with nine cups around him and he's very happy he's content because he has attained his goal and he's very he's he's happy he's done all the work and it's just been great so emotionally content emotionally stability stability emotional emotional stability has really come through here in the sense that you are 
finally just surrendering to what is and kind of using your sixth sense in a way with all this purple and blue here you're really kind of connecting with spirituality here you're taking this time to really breathe and meditate and trusting just really trusting in the timing divine timing is really here um with 70 spirits to guide you some of you i'm getting the the vibe that you a lot of you are spiritual and you have a lot of spirits around you guiding this situation um 70 condenses to the number seven which is about spirituality seven is also a highly divine number being that there are seven you know main chakras and when you find that you are meditating a lot and getting your head clear because clearly we are clouded here with this ace of clouds which is the ace of swords in reverse we'll be able to kind of get a clear head and be able to clear our intuition and this indecision card won't be such a focal point in it but this person this relationship is coming into your life to really help you with that to really help you get clear gain clarity gain this emotional stability and really help you see the the light again and help you see um bring back this rejuvenation into your life definitely rejuvenation because we are talking about how we are here to really bring that balance in each other's lives to really bring that inner child out in each other's lives where we can help each other really enjoy and bring that happiness and balance out that no responsibilities at the same time by setting healthy boundaries with each other um, with steady patience and work because seven makes me think of patience as well uh, we're really going to achieve these things and then the six of gems gems in this deck is uh, pentacles this is all about give and take a healthy balance of give and take so this makes me think of not just material but st stable so gems is like very stable long-term study energy so in terms of like a love reading when it comes to the six of pentacles or gems in this case this really talks about being very generous and equal when it comes to give and take in the relationship so giving and taking of love time and energy you know you know that what you give will be reciprocated and it's not going to be like an energy drainage or like a emotional drain vampire like other previous relationships might have been for you and with building blocks you are definitely setting a firm foundation here with this person where you don't have to worry about things falling apart i'm hearing like when the, you know that song bones by Marin morris that's definitely going to be like you're going to find messages there when the bones are good the, the rest the glass won't shatter that's a good song for you to listen to you might find messages in there and really just trust the timing because it, for some of you who haven't met this person and you've been really manifesting this type of love into your life just know that this is coming for you and really don't don't worry about it the more you worry about it the more you're going to push it away just really surrender to this energy and trust that it's coming because it's going to bring you ultimately it's going to bring you this abundance and oh my gosh the chariot is behind there that's amazing energy to see but ultimately this abundance energy this stability and like loving this is like pre-empress energy where it's so full of fertility and motherly energy it's just I love it for you group three I don't even want to go further because this is I I just see amazing things here uh <clears throat> I'm just checking if I missed anything that I'm picking up on and basically this is just incredible energy so much abundance here so much uh equality in terms of like give and take so much balance coming into play here uh there's so much playful energy that you're going to be enjoying with each other as well as setting healthy boundaries as i said so 
um, with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and pull your charms. Just knock that down. So I'm going to close my eyes. You just kind of have to trust me on that. I'm closing my eyeballs. And then she's a few charms for you here. Okay. And then we're going to bring this up here. One second. Okay. Starting with the lock. Yes. We're going to definitely be building something very that we feel very safe and secure with each other. So that's something really awesome. And this pink cat makes me think of something very magical starting between you two. You might even bond over animals, not just cats. Oops, sorry, just not the hammer. Strawberries, that makes me think of something fruitful. You guys might enjoy strawberries. You know what I'm saying? This is an, like a sled or an ice skate. So winter time might be something significant. Winter season is coming up at the time of upload, but this is a timeless reading. So it could be that you meet in the snow or you enjoy going, doing like snow activities together. Um, since you guys do enjoy playing, then there's this cloud. So you'll be floating on cloud nine when you do come in to meeting each other. And this moon and star, definitely that intuition is coming into play. That also gives me that cancer vibe. So maybe cancer energy is strong in one or both of your charts. If not, don't worry about it. This is a mermaid tail. We're gonna go with mermaid tail. So some of you might have a pretty voice or you might like the sound of your person's voice. They like the sound of your voice. Cat, more magic energy. There's lots of magic and sparks going off in your relationship. Angels are watching over me. Definitely they are working on this union coming together. And then you have this cute little pumpkin. I definitely think fall is also a really important season in your relationship. So that could be fall season is like is that September, October, November for me, I would think. Um, depending on what hemisphere though. So that could be significant times when you meet. That could be when their birthday is. Again, depending on where you live. So I'm going to go ahead and let the camera focus so you can take a screenshot okay and that is where i'm gonna leave your reading group three please smash the like button and comment down below to let me know how you like this reading and if it resonated for you if you enjoyed it i would definitely appreciate it if you shared this and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. I'm also going to link my Patreon in the description box. So if you would like to join the community over there, we'll have exclusive pick a card readings. And yeah, not available here on YouTube. So it'll be really fun to connect with you there as well. I'm so excited for you um, to see what unfolds. If some of you know this person, I'm, I'm definitely anxious to hear about it. And if you're already in this relationship, I'm anxious to hear about that as well. Anxious to hear if you're going to meet this person. That's so exciting. Save this reading for future reference. And yeah, I will see you all very, very soon, group three. Bye. Hi, group four. If you chose the cute little angel -like crystal and the star child deck, welcome to your reading. I'm just going to move your cards on the side. And if you missed the intro, we just have some pre-shuffled oracle cards here to do an energy check based on um, if this is your pile, your correct group. For some of you, you might not know this person yet because this is a reading based on your next game changer relationship coming into your life, your next significant relationship basically, and for some of you, you might not even know this person yet, so we're 
just try to look for your energy at the very least and if you don't find that either resonate maybe you might find another pile that resonates for with you and if not there might just not be any messages for you at this time and that's totally fine because there's only four groups to choose from today but um and then some of you might know this person already and then some of you might already be in this relationship right now so with that being said we're going to start with person a and then person b and then the energy of their relationship and then draw tarot to see why what is their reason of this relationship and then we have more oracle cards to elaborate and then we're going to go ahead and pull some charms for you so we're going to do person A and person B style so that you can decipher and decide who is who. So starting with person A, we have the cosmic egg. And ironically, every single group has a spirit card. And your group has two. So with the cosmic egg for person A, with self-esteem, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others and then you have number 64 healing through rust and you have two of these chakra cards we have recovery the third eye chakra and guilt with the sacral chakra And then person B has the golden egg. Um, I went out of order here. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And then we have pink bubble fairy. And this person has three of these. We have mysticism. Whoa, whoops. Release. Can you still see? I'm going to move these up here, actually. And rejection. And then for the energy of your relationship, actually, let's move this over. Can you still see that? You had a lot of bonus cards, group four. We had two of these archetype cards representing the energy of your relationship. So we had the desert, number 37, as well as number 60, the kiss. And we have we the Halers, Hathers, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. It focuses. Okay. And number 31, Cornucopia. So group four, we're going to, first of all, this is crazy that you both, both people in this relationship got spirit cards representing your energy. You guys are both very spiritual obviously but ironically the cosmic egg is more of the crown chakra and then the golden egg is more of the heart chakra space now that's not to say you're not aligned in any way of course you're aligned because you guys both got the, the spirit cards representing your energy which is really cool and not just any spirit card you guys both got egg spirit cards to say the very least um so in terms of any signs that I'm picking up on, any zodiac signs I'm picking up on, I'm not picking up on any in particular just because these are spirit cards. However, because there's a snake depicted here in the cosmic egg, I do tend to um I do tend to associate that with Scorpio energy just because I 
think I did read somewhere that Scorpio actually does kind of in some tales some I'm not sure how accurate those tales are um, that can be Scorpio energy now I do feel like you guys are both definitely on a spiritual path and you may find that if you're drawn to other piles or a, another group you might find that you have a message in there as well because um, there was another group that had a similar message in terms of mirroring and there is some sense of mirroring going on here but not quite as much as the other group now when i'm looking let's start with let's start with the cosmic egg because i'm getting all over the place here the cosmic egg is definitely somebody who is going through a self-realization a definite a definitely um i think as a collective honestly we are definitely going through some deep ascendance some deep transformation as we are in scorpio season and that's it's tis the season of transformation definitely as a collective i do believe we're um, coming to a a big awareness and awakening to more spirituality type things and it's beautiful i really do love it and this cosmic egg person is is not um excluded from that um and this person is definitely going through some changes and i'm seeing that they're they're getting some healing and they've taken a break from a few things they might have stepped back from some work stepped back from their usual routines even just to do some healing some some time for themselves this is somebody who is definitely confident and they've embodied this they might even have some leo in their chart just because of how much confidence they have and it's not an overconfident type thing they're not conceited in any of that i'm not getting that conceited vibe but definitely they have this air of confidence about them and they're not cocky they're not um overly confident they're they're a comfortable amount of confident in the way that when addressed about these uh their achievements they're very humble about it which makes them more attractive so if you are not this cosmic egg person and you're the golden egg i can definitely see why you'd be attracted to this person and uh this person is definitely somebody who is very talented they they can pick up on i feel like they can pick on they can pick up on the vibe of the room and just really i feel like they can just really set the tone set the mood and they can they have this charisma about them which is also why i feel like they have that leo vibe uh now even with this card so self-esteem i possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others i do think that their strength is really highlighting the strengths of other people and not just highlighting their strengths but making them feel really good about themselves in a way that brings out such a kindness in them where people are like oh my gosh that's so nice of you to say thank you thank you so much i appreciate it and it's kind of giving me this sense of um somebody who holds a lot of uh, like people have them in high esteem high esteem that's that's a perfect word there and uh people really admire this person whether or not they're in the same line of work like in the industry of whatever they do and so maybe this person so say this person is a what's a good example okay let's say this person is what's a good example let's say this person is an actor okay and actors we hear some actors have like horrible reputations where they're snooty and rude and just um in hawaii we say hi maka maka but like really that means like they just have this really rude attitude where they're arrogant and just they have like this attitude where they're better than everyone else superior complex right but 
this person, this cosmic A person, definitely doesn't feel like they're better than anyone. They feel like there's nothing special about them that makes them better than anybody else, regardless of what they do. And so people who aren't actors, people who work maybe as the person who goes to get coffee or the person who uh, does the audio for the movie productions or the person who goes to um, do hair and makeup, uh, they all really admire this person because of how kind and how appreciative this person is regardless of what it is that they do in when when coming into contact with all these different people as they as this person works with them and so that is the type of person this cosmic egg is um and with this guilt and recovery here there is such there the reason why they're like this is because there is so much um pain from their past where maybe they've been they've they've maybe they have definitely been deeply hurt by other people in their past before um definitely been dealt the short end of the stick in many times where they've given 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 to other people and then those people took advantage of them and left them high and dry so even the story in this card talks about that and so really um why that's associated with guilt i think it's got a lot to do with releasing guilt from this emotional pain and carrying it around with them that you do for so much for other people you you have to stop feeling guilty for taking on and being responsible for your own emotions stand in your own power as the cosmic egg and really just own it own your emotions and allow yourself to feel these things and allow yourself to say no sometimes allow yourself to you know not give yourself away so much of the time and i think that's the guilt that this person is working through as they're going through this awakening process and that's why this card is here letting me know what their energy is uh recovery here it's recovery talks about really allowing the healing to come through allowing this kind of allowing yourself to feel the feelings as the egg as a cosmic egg i can't say egg <laughs> as the cosmic egg allowing this healing to come through because i think as the cosmic egg who has been going after so many things and pushing through i feel like this cosmic egg you are the cosmic egg and reach this high level of ascension and awakening for a reason it's because you're highly ambitious and you've achieved so much in your life in the material world in emotionally physically all of that and you honestly have pushed so much of your own emotions toward the back and locked it away in the closet with this key here you've locked it up and you're you haven't allowed yourself to really process and feel those emotions so that is why you need to really you know spirit is saying you really need to heal these things this cosmic egg person is really going through this process of healing and coming to terms with all of these things that are coming out of the closet now we're unlocking and unleashing these feelings and coming to terms with that shadow aspect of themselves and they may even be taking a break from work at this time or at least taking a step back in a in a sense where they're working from home maybe um doing things a little bit differently than they would normally do in terms of work so that they can heal while they rest also um i'm noting a lot of this green coming out here that is their heart coming through this emotion being released so that also tells me that the, these emotions are definitely coming out from the cosmic egg and that's just beautiful energy so going on to the golden egg here the golden egg is you got a lot of cards here golden egg you both did actually the golden egg is um more and I say you mirror because a golden egg talks a lot about the heart chakra and inside this golden egg here it has there's a beautiful message and it's as very spirit is showing me 
Spirit is showing me that scene from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire where Harry is trying to figure out what the heck is, what clue is in that golden egg to find what the next task is. And when he opens the egg, it's this hideous screeching noise and you can't figure out what the clue is because you can't hear the sound, you can't hear it unless you do it in a special way, in the quiet. And instead he's in the loud Gryffindor common room, right? And that's kind of what this card talks about, actually. So in order to hear this message in the golden egg and in this um, heart chakra being aligned with it, you really need to kind of give it some time and go in the quiet and be in the warmth. So really like Harry has to go in the special prefix bathroom, bathtub and um, Cedric Derry tells him to go to that bath, the prefect bathroom and take it in the tub and have a nice bubble bath where it's warm and quiet, you know, at the right perfect time. He goes in there and he molds over the, under the water and under the water he can hear the beautiful sound where the clue is revealed and he knows what's next. That is what the golden egg is about. And truly, um, that's just my nerd side coming out, but really that's, that's what Spirit is showing me. That scene where this golden egg is really just learning to navigate the sound, the song. That's what I'm seeing. But really learning to navigate the true being of who this person is, learning what the true, <clears throat> the true calling of this person's life. So the golden egg has been, you know, following their path and not really sure what they've been doing and wanting. And honestly, whenever they would try to open up, it would just be the screeching sound until they finally got to this quiet place and discovered and ascended in this time and could hear the true calling of their heart so it's really just a beautiful beautiful thing uh this person also highly gifted because we have mysticism um, mysticism is definitely the third eye chakra coming through where they're highly aware intuitive they have some psychic abilities coming through i would not be surprised if this golden egg person actually uh, dabbled in some divination type things light work even this person here um, might be highly spiritual as well doing some light work uh at least spiritual uh i'm getting more so this person though because we have so much manifesting energy here as well as this mysticism um awareness this kind of makes me feel like um this might be a tarot reader, this might be Reiki, uh, just a spiritual light worker, practice practitioner, somebody who is definitely manifesting many things. Abundance for sure is coming through. They're manifesting the dream life that they've always envisioned and wanted and aligning with their calling and truly, in, truly accepting and... Uh, what is the word spirit embracing not accepting truly embracing the gifts that they have been given and they are seeing that all of their past failures because this person has been through a lot with this rejection card here they've been through a lot of rejection where they've maybe tried to go after many many goals like see all of these faces here they've had many times where they tried to attain many things and i can relate to this person a lot by the way i feel like this might be my energy uh <laughs> not gonna lie where you tried you the golden egg has tried to go after many things and maybe didn't quite hit their mark or didn't attain their goal the way that they had hoped or maybe they were trying to go for a certain job and they didn't get it and spirit is showing me like they got many no's, doors slammed in their face, um, they didn't hit their mark, they didn't hit the goal, they didn't hit their their ranks even if they were doing that sort of thing. 
and rejection was for their protection. These things happened for a reason. Okay, you were this was a learning experience. Um, this is understanding the journey and who you are and accepting and embracing the, the person that you are and learning things along the way so that you can come a full circle here and really releasing that really releasing that critic of like why am i not good enough what is wrong with me you're releasing all of those shadows and blame like oh i couldn't achieve this because of this i couldn't achieve this because of that and you're really releasing that and you're coming to terms with that because upon this like ascension journey you really face a lot of these shadows you really face a lot of these past rejections and experiences and you put them to rest you 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 said goodbye and you buried them because now we're going through like a rebirth you're you're going uh this golden egg person when i say you this golden egg person is now going through a rebirth and they're releasing all of these things and rising up and now this pink bubble fairy here is all of their all of their manifestations coming through here coming and in they are focusing on what they want to manifest the life that they truly want and they're they're going to attain it because this abundance card is coming through so so strong now to focus on the energy of your connection here because you guys are both coming through really strongly in terms of having a third eye like psychic some sort of intuitive abilities in which i think you can connect with each other on a 5d plane at least um if you are not in contact right now maybe you don't know this person yet you at least spiritually are connected i was a little bit concerned when i flipped because these both flew out to when these cards flew out they flew out like this and when i first flipped over the first one it was the desert card and i was like uh what spirit um i was a little nervous because the desert card is about of course i'm gonna have a hard time picking it up the desert card is about when you think about a desert right it's dry it's not somewhere you want to thrive right when when you are thrown out in the desert i imagine that unless you're a camel which you're not you're two eggs i can't imagine you surviving out there you're pretty much just you're gonna be dehydrated um unless you're a snake i don't know you're not gonna thrive out there unless you're like meant to be living in the desert right and so this talks about like a lack of direction and needing a, a purpose and a calling and really just being like confused and wanting clarity because when you're when you're in the desert you start to get that like in the movies they're showing me like when you're in the movies and you're wandering out in the desert right you start to like hallucinate and see things and then you kind of like you you just lose it right you, you lose your mind a bit and so really just not not good right you you lose purpose and i feel like this particular relationship could be mind-blowingly game-changing strong i want to go as far as like for some of you this could be twin flame energy for some of you this could be major soul energy just because this feels like dark night of the soul energy where you really just went through the running of not knowing what is coming next not knowing you know where is up and where is down it just like that dark night of the soul feeling and then followed by the kiss here which is totally not the same the kiss is about sensual intimacy it's about love it's about uh this deep connection and not just a physical connection but a sensual like it's deeper than just a physical kiss it's about uh that chemistry the like the vibe i guess i could say and 
it's almost like a magnetic feeling I'm feeling like where you just like lock eyes and you know you know it's like something in the way you see each other the way you smell the way you feel it's just magnetic and it's really cool how there's a moon here and a moon here you're both intuitively like on the same wavelength so even more so that spiritual connection is highly highlighted This card also talks about merging together. See how there's two hands here? So the two energies are merging together. And definitely about like just surrendering to the connection, surrendering to what is here and what is just happening in divine timing. And this 31 here, cornucopia, is just something abundant. You guys are going to be creating so much abundance. This relationship is going to be full of abundance, whether it's creating a family, creating a financial abundance, um, maybe even starting a business together. Whatever you think that may be, this is also like making me think of the third eye, an evil eye. So you guys are well protected by your spirit guides as well highly intuitive connection as I have said and these two hands it's the cosmic egg hand and the golden hand reaching out to one another so definitely strong connection there and we the haters or hathers deep love definitely feeling like this is definitely a deep strong connection between the two of you and so let's go ahead and move into the tarot section and more of your cards to just get into like why what is the reason i'm gonna shuffle we're gonna just see really quickly these cards are also really hard to shuffle but beautiful also your cards have the eye on it as well. So I think that is not a coincidence. Okay, one more. And we can see what is the reason for this relationship spirit? What is the reason for this next? significant relationship what is the reason for this game-changing significant relationship we have the knight of cups what is the reason for this relationship what is the reason for this relationship what is the reason well what is the reason awakening in the reverse what is the reason for this relationship spirit? What is the reason for this relationship? What is the reason for this next significant relationship? Well, the high priestess in reverse. Let me move this over. What is the reason for this next relationship? What is the reason? for the next significant relationship is the page of crystals what is the reason whoa hold on king of wands I'm going to just take one more and then you're back for the deck. What is the reason for this next relationship? What is the reason? What is the reason for the next relationship for group four? What is the reason for this next significant relationship? 
oppression in the reverse. And then we have the Wheel of Opportunities. Wheel of Opportune in the reverse on the back of the deck. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and take a look at your Oracle cards. We have Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Deep Knowing, number 43. 25 around and round. Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. Trust the timing, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Number 18, Repopulation. And number 68, sitting on top of the world. Okay, group four. We are definitely going through an awakening. And so I'm actually going to have to pull a book on this card because you have two cards that are not in the normal tarot deck, which is this card here, Awakening and Oppression. And I don't use this deck often enough to remember exactly what it is. Just kidding. Awakening is actually judgment. That makes sense. Oppression though, oppression is about, <clears throat> in the reverse, is about coming to terms with our awakening and our shadow selves and our healing side. So this person coming into your life for this reason is to help you through those healing, help you through this healing process. And when you are and I think you're here to do the same for them as well. The overarching energy here, ah, I like that. Underneath here is the Nine of Cups in the upright. We're feeling a little stuck as of late. So that is your overarching energy. <clears throat> but this person here is coming in, bringing you this new hope basically with the knight of cups energy and bringing you this new hope feeling of emotional fulfillment and like like things are going to start changing and with judgment in the reverse we've been like very worried about how others perceive us and that's part of our shadow aspect as well coming to terms with being worried about what others might think and then also being not open to change, not open to this healing part of us and not open to accepting our intuitive abilities or not being open to really seeing these things because our intuition is blocked when this High Priestess card is reversed. and. Sometimes when we're not open to that, we're not ready to fully go through that rebirth process. And it's kind of like trusting in having this deep knowing, like this number 43 card showing up here. Having that deep knowing that all of this is happening for you and not to you. I think that's a very constant message lately that even with this round and round it, it kind of feels like you're you've been going through this cycle and just to get stuck again and it's almost like you're on this hamster wheel but you're not really getting anywhere which is like this wheel of fortune in reverse it's you're you're spinning but you're going nowhere you're not moving forward and you're not 
you know, you're not moving out of this cycle. You're stuck here. And that's what this card is talking about. You're, you're, you know, you're on this journey and round and round. And this person is coming into your life who has a very similar journey to yours in the sense that you're, they understand where you're coming from and what you're going through. And it's kind of like this question of why are you bringing me somebody who is also going through the same thing? How can we possibly benefit each other? How can we possibly grow? And it's going to, what it's going to do is it's going to help you see what you're doing and help you see that, oh shoot, I've been doing that this whole time. Better change that and vice versa. And that's kind of what this round and round card talks about where we recognize in the mirror like the opportunity to change the change the patterns that we can now see for ourselves in another person because it's easy for you know it's kind of like they're showing you like when your mom tells you something us tells you to search in something and then like you don't really listen because that's your mom but when somebody else says it you listen it's kind of like that so <clears throat> with this repopulation it's it's really highlighting appreciating the process and refilling your cup and refilling the cycle and you're going through this new cultivation process of growth and replanting the seeds and really just um, appreciating this cycle of growth because you're going to ultimately bring about this abundance and fruitfulness of your relationship and your life together and it's about trusting the timing and trusting the process and I know it sounds really repetitive to do that but there's so much of that highlighted here which is why I feel like it's really important to keep saying that it's like trust is here trust is here deep knowing trust is highlighted there as well and the king of wands is all about like he's looking up to the sky trusting in the universe and divine timing and really just in the manifestations coming through and the magic and putting out the attraction and understanding that what you put out is what you what you get back and that's the energy here so focus on the good things focus on the lighter side of things rather than the negatives and that's going to change the the energy of what's happening here and at the end of the day you're going to be sitting on top of the world you're going to end up achieving this even with this deep knowing card it's just about you look the owl is sitting on top you know it's that deep knowing that you're going to achieve all the things and really be you know with the nine of cups here you're going to really achieve all of the things so trust the process trust the timing you've got all the things going for you it's just about getting past these blockages and not really I don't like to say like rely on this person to bring you that but just trust that this person is here to help you through it and kind of be with you on this journey um that's kind of what i'm seeing here Yeah, this page of crystals energy is like you're really eager to learn to start something stable and set the set the foundation really strong because the pentacle energy or the in this case it's crystals it's about something that is it starts off slow but it's something very stable and it's this new this eagerness to learn and really this could even be the energy of you starting that business venture together or building a project passion project together um because we did talk about that cornucopia card earlier in your reading where you guys are going to be building something of a great abundance and the fruits of your labor and you will no longer feel this oppression it's like you're releasing all of that baggage you're you know, if this came out in the upright, I would be really worried and concerned that 
this wouldn't have been a good reading but this is a good reading it's just really heavy in the in the beginning because you're it's highlighting how much you're releasing together and how much you're healing together and i think because it's such a strong connection and such an elevated connection that it seems like whoa so just really oh, there's another card that came out before breathe and you might find messages in another pile because it's so it there was another pile about a mirroring so if you felt drawn to go ahead and take a listen um we're gonna go ahead and pull your charms now i'm going to close my eyes and pull you some charms so okay Oops. Oops. I totally knocked it. Okay. Starting with the butterfly. Definitely highlighting your transformation, your ascension. Beautiful. What is this one? I can't really see. Cute! This is really tiny, but it's a little witch. Can you guys see that? That gold one up there. It's a little witch. So definitely, I believe one or both of you are magical into the divine light workers. You have angels surrounding you for sure, guiding you on this journey. Trust that they are bringing you this person if they're not already with you. You have cherries here signifying the bountifulness the abundance coming your way that is definitely a crown more significance that you are building a life of great abundance together this is a chariot here moving forward on your journey for sure um i actually didn't read it like that in the first time that i pulled that but I do see this as you guys moving forward and successfully moving forward on your journey. This little lock on your heart is definitely giving me the vibe that this is a loyal connection and one that you feel very secure in. Same with this, you're building a life of security and stability together. It's such a beautiful energy. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. You can go ahead and screenshot it. Okay and yeah that is what i see for you that's where i'm going to leave your reading group for please go ahead and smash the like button and go ahead and comment down below to let me know how this resonated for you and don't forget to share this if you you know really liked it and save it if this is someone you don't know yet for future reference and I would definitely love it if you went ahead and subscribed. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss a beat. And I'm also going to link my Patreon down below in case you're interested in joining our community over there. Where we'll have exclusive pick a card readings not here available on YouTube. So I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.